guys, here what we got this week is the Nitro Planes Max Jet F117 uh, fighter jet. This is an ARF kit I picked up. So what that means is it doesn't have nothing but the airframe. And what I'm going to be doing is using my own electronics here. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. This is the black version. It's for a 64 millimeter, but I'm going to modify it to fit a 7, 70 millimeter fan. See what we got here. Packaging right off the back. We see instructions similar to the 70 millimeter jets I've just done. Got the instructions here. Pretty easy diagram to follow and show where everything goes. Put this here. Everything's nice and wrapped up here. Go ahead and open these up. See what we got here. Looks like one of the vertical stabs. Got the other one here, so it's obvious these are going to be the tail section. Nice and black. EPO foam. What else we got here? We got a canopy. Small canopy here. Looks like a little guy in the back there. Pretty neat. We've got... Seems to be the wings here. Fit here to the sides. Ailerons are already attached still. Make sure we don't have to do no gluing in this area. It looks like they're already pre-hinged for you. Seem to be pretty tight in there. Decal still already on there for you. Servo slot. Everything's nice and bubble wrapped there. Got a little box here. Let's go ahead and open up this box. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like. This will be for the steering accessories. Here's the little fan. It's a 64 millimeter fan. It is a 64 millimeter jet. But like I said, I'm going to be modifying mine with a 70 millimeter. Here's the fan that comes with it. Accessories to lock everything in there. Let's put this back in the bag so we don't lose anything. Tape, screwdriver, okay looks like we have the servo extensions already in there, pretty neat, less things I'll have to purchase, Let's see what we've got here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five servo extensions, I've already got some high tech HS 55s for my ailerons, and I got a high tech HS 65s for my steering. I'm only going to need three servos here, so the next thing I have to add is the fan and the uh, ESC. I have a fan also, a 70 millimeter uh, E flight fan that I'm going to be putting in here. 60 amp speed control. Looks like we have a plate for the battery tray at the bottom. I'm also going to modify it for to accept a bigger battery. That way I'll be able to run three cells or four cells. Get more flight time. So let's put this all back in the box here. Everything looks good. Everything's packaged. Nothing seems to be missing so far. Just a quick inventory off the top of my brain. And the glue. Glue comes with glue. As a matter of fact, this is now a epoxy, two-piece epoxy that they send with it, which I've always used epoxy. So I might just go ahead and use this. I think it's about five-minute epoxy. So we got the glue. This thing ought to go together real, real fast, real simple. Now let's get to the bottom of the box here and see what we got here. Looks to be the fuselage.
got the fuse lodge here. And here's the fuse. As you can see, the pan will be accessible here from the bottom. Got the styrofoam there protecting the nose. Don't want to take that off yet. Now, if I'm correct, this should come apart here because I actually have to glue everything myself. So, yeah, here's the two pieces. They've got some wood blocks locked in here. Looks like where the battery tray is going to be. There's a wood block. This is where the fan will be accessed from. So this will be the bottom section of it. And this is the top half of it. So if I slid this back on here, this is what we would have. You can see the opening in the bottom there for the fan area. Here's the canopy area, battery area. So let's go ahead and get this back in the box and I'll pull out the parts as I need them. But the first thing I will be doing is modifying the fan to fit in this 64 millimeter area. So I have a 70 millimeter, so I'm going to have to trim some of this out of here. So let me go ahead and uh, modify this and get the fan ready to go in there, the ESC. Then we'll start assembling the wings and everything else. So let's get into the build of the Nitro Planes F117 R build. 